some fun facts about Italy, but he wanted you to use your best Italian accent. It'll be fun. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Come on, let's do it. So yeah. who's going to go first? Nice Travis. And spicy meatball. Travis. So this is the deal. We got to do it with Beppe right here. So sit down. Who's filming? The GoPro. So sit down right here for me. Open up your card. Let me make sure this thing's on. Bear with me. All right, great. And then give us your best Italian accent and a trivia thing about Italy. Italian accent. Does he get the practice for No. Um. Enjoy it. I'm looking in. No, you just do it to the team. Okay. This is fun facts. You got it, Trav. As of 2012. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, one more time. You sound like Dracula. Yeah, make it sound like Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> As of 2012, 37 of Italians have never used the internet. 37 percent? Like 80, man. No, okay, totally all right, good. <laughs> <laughs> good night. In Italy, people wear red underwear on New Year's Day as a symbol of good luck for the upcoming year. You sound like a vampire. <laughs> all right, a vampire. Hey, there's a small town in Italy whose population has developed a cholesterol mutation that cures heart disease. Oi. <laughs> An Italian fam oh no. <laughs> An Italian town has banned pet owners from keeping goldfish in bowls due to a distorted view of reality. Are you kidding me? No. Go ahead and speak up nice and loud. Okay. On a February third of nineteen ninety eight the tail of a U.S. Marine tactical surveillance jet on a training mission served a tram cable at a ski resort near Cavalasse in northern Italy. He's sending 20 skiers nearly 300 feet to their deaths. Pretty interesting wow. fact, huh? That was a lot of... Molto <laughs> bene! <laughs> oh, nice, Ivy. Just don't break him. <laughs> oh, sorry, Pepe. <laughs> that didn't work out. The Guinness Book of World Records lists the February 15th, 2003 protest in Rome against Iraq war as the largest ever with three million people. Very nice. Uh, there's a crypt in Rome <laughs> that is mainly constructed from the skeletal remains of 4,000 monks. Oh, yeah, see, it's a fun yeah. fact, right? That's Who knew nice. that? Hello, Pepe. <laughs> there's an island near Italy that was inside <laughs> wars, a dumping ground of plague victims and an insane asylum. It's considered so dangerously haunted that the Italian kind of sounds a little Irish there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> haunted that the Italian government does not allow public access. Very nice. That was good. You have like four accents. In Italy, old people adopt students who can't afford rent to their homes in exchange for company. A little help around the house. Yeah, one last. Who hey, wants Brian Miller to do the last one? Come on, Brian. Give me the last one. Be fun. You read everyone's mind. I knew everybody was looking at him earlier. It's actually a big one. Oh, I like spaghetti meatball. Give it sit down in front of Pepe. Oh, I don't get to look at it? No, I don't want to do it. Hey, Pepe! <laughs> sit down and put on your best accent. <laughs> and speak loudly. Hey, Pepe. And some people are sent to Italy for the contribution to the brand and the performance. <laughs> Thank you, Brian Miller, for everything you do to make Charlotte the best it can be. Oh, what is this? What does it say? Read it out loud. Yeah. You're Are you going to Italy? I don't know. It looks like I'm going to... Somebody's going to Italy. Am I going to Italy? So Brian Miller is being oh. sent to Italy. Woo! Being set, it, you know, we talk about performance and contribution to the, to the team, and the truth is, you know, Brian has done a lot with between me being gone, between before I even came along, to what he's done for the team, what he's done for the restaurant. Um, we're allowed to put a few people's names in the hat, uh, and once a year we send people to uh, Italy uh, with the team so they can have fun and enjoy uh, the comfort of our family, which is Maggiano's. And uh, we we're lucky enough to have uh, Brian Miller. Uh, get accepted to win, and uh, congratulations. Wow. Wow.